Located on an enormous island in the Pacific Ocean, Papua New Guinea is one of the most biodiverse and culturally rich countries on the planet. It's impossible to overstate the beauty of Papua New Guinea, a labyrinth of steep mountain valleys and impenetrable jungle. The country contains thousands of unique species, and residents here speak over 800 distinct languages. It is believed there are many more undiscovered species of plants, animals, and people still uncontacted by the modern world. Heavy jungle, welcoming people, and astonishing natural wonders. This week on Epic Trails, we're exploring Papua New Guinea. I'm Eric Hansen. When I see a trail, I see more than a path from point A to point B. A good trail is the ultimate opportunity to explore, to discover new landscapes, and to challenge myself. When I don't have a pack on my back, I'm thinking about my next big adventure, because my mission is simple. My mission is to discover the world's most epic trails. Located on an island just north of Australia in the Pacific Ocean, Papua New Guinea has long been overlooked by the outside world. Even its residents, separated by towering mountains and dense rainforest, have remained isolated from one another. Within a hundred square miles, you'll find tribes that speak completely unique languages, each with its own traditions, ceremonies, and dress. A great way to experience a cross-section of these cultures is to hike the Kokoda Track, a 60-mile-long trail that traverses Papua New Guinea's central mountains, passing from village to village. Just arrived here in Papua New Guinea. We're in Port Moresby, and we're jumping on a charter flight to head to the beginning of the Kokoda Track. Hey, how's it going? Good, Jay. Yeah. All right. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Mind your head through the top. Don't knock my noggin on there. All right. Papua New Guinea is huge and with essentially no roads, so the best way to travel is in small aircraft. I'm a little nervous to fly over the big mountains with only a little grass strip to land on, but the pilot assures me he makes this flight every day. From the air, I'm able to see just how vast and rugged this country is. And down there somewhere is the Kokoda Track, known for its difficulty and for its role in a World War II battle between the Australian and Japanese armies. The time flies by, and before I know it, we're approaching the Kokoda runway, where the real adventure begins. Thank you, Jay. You're welcome. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. In Kokoda, we're given the traditional Sing Sing welcome ceremony. Every villager wears their ceremonial garb, adorned with birds of paradise feathers, grasses, and body paint. They sing, dance, play drums, and then dance some more. If there's one word I'd use to describe my first impression of Papua New Guinea, it's colorful. Just arrived to the very first village where we're starting the Kokoda trek and we just had an amazing welcome, something unlike I've ever seen. Uh, just the whole village was basically in their traditional dress and were dancing for us, and uh, that was incredibly honoring. I, I don't know what to think. It was just amazing and beautiful, and I can't wait to start the trail now. There is no other country, I believe, left in the world like PNG. We call it the land of the unexpected. There is only three ways to get around PNG, by boat, fly, or walk. So that means that Papua New Guinea is still very isolated and very raw. Originally, all tracks in Papua New Guinea were trading tracks between villages. So this track has been here for thousands of years. The track is 96 kilometers long. There is no flat spots. It is dense jungle, and it is one of the top 10 hardest treks in the world. 
There are nine of us making the trek, including Aaron, who at nine is already our lead guide. 